many times our past is, is the biggest hindrance to our dreams. When we tried so hard to be able to accomplish what God has wants us to accomplish and we fail and we see that as, as a road roadblock as as a as you know when you uh, when you're trying to race from a cops they put these strips that if you drive it's just like it makes your tire flat that is sometimes our past that's what it does to us we try to go forward but it's something that it makes our tires flat and we try to go forward but we can't let go what happened in our past quit cheating on your future with your past your past is too heavy to bring into the future it's just it's too heavy to be able to say God well this is what happened I believe that you can do it but just remember that I failed just a year ago remember what I've done a year ago remember what I've done yesterday and you begin to tell God God this is what happened yesterday and God says forget the past forget the past because I'm not a God that lives in the past but I am the God that lives in the future state God sees you and not how you are now not how you were in the past but God sees the future you God sees a blessed you God sees the delivered you God sees a you that is above and not beneath that every time you walk in you are blessed every time you walk out you're blessed anything your hand touches will be blessed that is the God that sees you that way let go of the past how much past do you want to forget how much do you want to forget of the failures that, that you tried, you tried and you failed? You cannot drag your past into your, to your present, to your future. It's too heavy. If you dwell on your past, you cripple your ability to think, to act and exercise faith in the present. If you, your mind is dwelling on what happened yesterday, you cripple your ability to think and to act to to act and to exercise faith in the present how much past do you want to forget church you know our church existed for some time now and you know there's so many things that we tried with our church you know we stood on the on the freeways with banners you know we spread over 50,000 flyers and and all these things you know just one person shows up and they probably just showed up by mistake and so many things that we've done that just failed it failed it failed you know all these things but we know that we serve a God that is bigger than our past. We know that, you know, what happened yesterday, we let it go and we serve a God that says in the last days, He says in the future states, and that we dream of a future state because that's where our God is. He doesn't dwell in my past, but He dwells in the future. And He says, this is where you are headed. And look, and raise up your eyes and be able to look where you're headed. Not what happened, but where you are going. If a hidden if those who do not know God can attract God's attention but their ability to dream to envision how much more a Christian how much more you that is filled with the Holy Spirit can move the presence of God in your life when you are able to dream big when you're able to work hard when you're able to envision much and you're able to forget the failures of your past you're able to move God's presence in your life and God will begin to step in your life and he'll be able to stand next to you and says that anything that you do will be able to come to pass and we know one thing if God is for you who can be against you and that is nobody when God is with the nation who can stand against her when God is with the believer what weapon can form against when we prosper because no weapon that is formed against a believer will prosper in Jesus name and that is you tonight church